Roofer gets three years jail time for buying a boat. Not a simple boat, $700,000 boat. That's the story today. We already covered it about a year ago. The story about owner of Target Roofing in Fort Myers misspending, misusing PPP loan. Absolutely crazy. And I want to react to the new story from Wink. Uh, you'll see his face, you'll see his reactions. There's a lot of valuable lessons for business owners out there. Uh, my heart goes to the company, to the owner, seemed like a good guy, but made a couple bad decisions. Let it be the lesson to all of us. I could be in his position. Anybody could have done this mistake. I can see and understand the temptation and what he did. And we're going to explain, we're going to look into that, what exactly took place. Breaking news. First at six o'clock, a business owner will spend the next three years and one month in prison for misusing COVID relief funds. Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Stefati. So at first, by the way, they were, um, the head, uh, headlines were up to 100 years. That's what prosecution were coming after. And of course, nobody's going to get 100 years in prison for misuse of PPP. But it's uh, one of those stories when I think government really wanted to make a case. And I have strong opinion about PPP. We don't need it. We did not need it in the first place. And sooner or later, we will have to pay. There's no such a thing as a government money. It's all people's money. And now look what's happening. 3.5 trillion bill really raising debt ceiling again. Because when you try to shovel people um, money in people's throat, the people who don't even need it. I know a lot of business owners who did not need PPP. I've been in this country for 15 years and I never got one government check except Obama stimulus check back in 2012 or 13, didn't ask for it, just got $700 check back then. I have five kids, so I started getting this PPP loan money every month, I guess for my kids, they, it's like 1200 bucks a month and we start putting it aside pretty much to pay taxes later. So when you offer money to people who don't need them, you might get a story like this. Just moments after sentencing, Casey Crowther, owner of Target Roofing, talked with Wink News about his mistake. Wink News reporter Anika Henniger joins us live in downtown Fort Myers. And Aniko, you spoke with him one on one. What did he have to say? Crowther was somber. The judge had just told him he was going to prison. But worse than that, he had just looked his own family and his employees in the eye and told them he had failed them. And if you could see his family, they were holding on to one another. Grandparents were sobbing and trembling, and his employees were looking up so that their tears wouldn't stream down. One of the most difficult things I've ever felt in my life is the pain that I've caused some of these people, uh, specifically some of the employees of Target Roofing who have made Target Roofing what it is. So he gives credit to his employees, to his company. If you read his story, he's self-made. He started a company or in roofing at the age of 15, build a company. Target Roofing is a big company. If you go on their YouTube channel, their website, they're not a small player. He admitted that he had some drug issue or alcohol issue he he's going to go through a rehab that's why they my understanding that had this extra month and you can be very sympathetic to the story despite the mistakes this guy deserve a second chance he he has to pay the price he has to pay the penalty i think government is coming a little bit too hard uh, I mean, we don't see three years when politicians and some others are misusing money, right? But to understand this story, you know, it, it's actually very hard. Right before recording here, I actually called my lawyer and we both look at the paperwork. It's, it's hard to read. It's misleading. All the news companies are sharing the same story. If you go to justice.gov, you see that the court also ordered Crowther to forfeit $2.7 million, $630,000, and 40 feet catamaran boat, which were uh, the proceeds of the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP. So he actually got $2.1 million, and uh, this case was investigated by United States Secret Service, of course. It was prosecuted by Assistant United States Attorney Trent Richling and Michael V. Lehman. And honestly, I came from communist country. Where I'm coming from, government, people in government steal this kind of money. I mean, we have billions and billions stolen there. It's when you have this amount, when you're capable to obtain $2.1 million as a business owner, as a 
hardworking entrepreneur, you will get creative. It's not that hard to spend $2.1 million. I mean, his boat was $700,000. And the lesson, the true lesson here is if you take money from the government, spend it underneath. We actually, my company that I have sold, we got PPP loan, I think $200,000. We spent every penny on it, either on rent or on a payroll as it was intended to. So if you do it right, it's it's good to take loan money. I'm not against loan. There is a time and place in business. When you start an up, you can take SBA loan. You can borrow money to grow a little bit faster, but you have to be very smart. That also can absolutely destroy you later on. It's very hard to manage credit cards and interest and stuff like that. It can be really good, but it can also destroy you. But the real story here is not that. The real story here is a bank fraud. What he started doing is at trial, federal jury had found Crowther guilty of committing bank fraud, making a false statement to lending institution. Two counts of money laundering on March 26, 2021, which were related to a PPP fraud scheme. Before the trial started, Crowther pleaded guilty to one count of bank fraud and one count of making a false statement to a financial institution which were related to a mortgage fraud scheme. As part of the mortgage fraud scheme, Crowther created false bank statements to justify a loan he had used to purchase a nearly $1.3 million waterfront house in St. James City, Florida. So it's not like he didn't have money. He had the money. He runs a really big roofing company. He could easily use $2 million for the payroll and would never get in trouble. Instead, he's buying $1.3 million property. He's buying almost $700,000 loan. Crowther concealed the scheme by providing false explanations to the exp for the expenditures to his bank, calling the boat equipment and the payment to his former partner payroll. Under the terms of the PPP program, Crowther did not have to pay back the loan if he used at least 60% of the proceeds on payroll. To falsely make it appear he met the threshold, Crowther created thousands of fake employees to whom he purposely paid wages by adding multiple family members to his company payroll, even though they did not actually perform the work and separately by creating 39 other fake employees for whom he obtained fake identification documents, including social security cards that he provided to his company's human resources to be placed in the files of the employees. Absolutely crazy. I mean, this guy went above and beyond to scam the government, to misuse the money. Let's see what he has to say. Employees supported Crowther throughout his trial, showing up in their red polos. Crowther swore he would support them right back and vowed to take care of his customers, too. He's got a month to get his business together before going away for 37 months. I asked Crowther how anyone can trust in him again, even his employees. They know I've made some mistakes, but I, I think that makes me human. And I think they can empathize with that, at least I hope. Um, I don't know that I always deserve uh, their support, but and I, can, I, I really do appreciate uh, everything they've given to me. In an unusual situation, Crowther actually asked for an extra month in prison. The judge said okay. Crowther said that it may help him apply for a counseling program while he's in prison. Now, just to give you an idea of what it felt like in the courtroom today, there were more than 30 people there in support of Crowther, and it felt like the judge was sentencing them too. That's how close this family is and how much emotion there was. And Crowther asked to be placed in a facility in Pennsylvania Pensacola to be closer to more family. Live in downtown Fort Myers, Anika Henniger, Wink News now. Absolutely crazy story. You know, believe it or not, I am very sympathetic to the owner. I think what really took place here is the temptation. He did have problems with the substances. Uh, a lot of business owners have it. When you run successful business and you have opportunities, sometimes you just don't know when to stop. Sometimes you don't know when, uh, when to stop buying stuff, doing things. Everything happens for a reason. My prayers goes to this man. I hope he will change his ways. There's no hate here at Roofing Insights. And uh, I'm actually more mad at PPP program than uh, the owner of the business because PPP 
uh, was given to so many people who did not need it, did not ask for it. I personally met so many regular people who's like, what do you need the check? There's so many people, we, we keep printing money and think that throwing money at a problem will solve it. It will not solve it. And, you know, we need to stop this communism when we just go print money, raise the debt ceiling. I mean, we're a great country. We have amazing opportunities. I'm pretty sure that Casey Crowther did not need $2 million, did not need even to be offered $2 million. That's just my humble opinion. Comment below what you think. Uh, do you think he deserves three years in prison? Do you think he deserves more or should he be released? Um, I think that he needed to learn the lesson. I mean... Anyone who is lying on financial statements, committing bank fraud, Roofing Insights right now investigates another developing story with someone else in our audience about bank fraud allegations, charges and stuff like that. We're going to look into that, but comment below. I wonder, what do you guys think? Where the community stands on this? It's very easy to point fingers and say, you're guilty, you're a bad guy, but you know, if I would be there, I would actually be supporting him in a jail room. It's very sad. Like... You know, honestly, we have a saying in Russia, never say never about jail and poverty. It can happen to anyone. Like, honestly, it's sometimes you can end up in jail for doing the right thing. Sometimes you can lose it all, no matter how hard you work. So it can happen to anyone. Don't point finger at others. Look at your business and decisions you guys are making. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this kind of content. I'll see you in the next video.